everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California. I farm grain crops with my dad and I planted my very first vineyard in April of 2018. Today I went to the Wine and Grape Symposium. I'm gonna show you a picture of a piece of equipment. I want you guys to tell me what you think it is and how much you think it costs. At the end of this video, I'm gonna let you guys know. Okay, now put your, put your guesses in the comments. Don't cheat, don't cheat, come on. I'm gonna show you guys a few clips from today. I didn't get too much, but I got some cool shots. I also got to meet some birds. You know, I'm a bird person. So I hope you guys enjoy these clips. This morning, I am heading to the Wine and Grape Symposium in Sacramento, California. The last time I went to this event was in 2018. I had not even planted my vineyard yet. So I'm really excited because I know so much more, but I still have so much I can learn. So I'm gonna look at equipment, make connections, meet people, try to learn some things, and we'll see how it goes. So here we go. That is a sweet wrap job. I just like want that on my vehicle now. There we go. My next uh, vineyard vehicle. <laughs> they look chill. What a good little. Is it a boy or a girl? His name's James Bond. James Bond. He's so good. Guess the, guess the last three numbers of his band. Zero, zero, 007. Yes. Can I get really close? As close as you want. As close as I want. Oh my gosh. This is James Bond. James Bond? What a good little boy. <gasps> yes. He's like, yep, I'm just here for the people. Okay, so explain what you do. Okay, so a vineyard calls us and wants to hire us. Okay. We would come in at the time of voration, which means that the grapes are just starting to soften, mm -hmm. which is when they start being vulnerable to birds. Okay. Prior to that, the birds aren't looking at them because they don't taste good. They're not worth, want, they're not worth having right. for the pest birds. Mm -hmm. So we come in and every morning and as long as there are birds, we're chasing them. Every evening again, we're flying our birds, generally to a lure, although if there are birds present, flocks of birds present, yeah. the falcon will actually chase them, chasing them away from the property. Okay. And then we repeat that process every day until harvest. Wow, every day. And that could be as little as four weeks. So you come the... in every single day, but you don't leave them there. No, no. You the bring them flies, every single day. The bird flies only when we're flying. Okay. We don't leave the bird behind. Right, right. Because we would lose it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now do you have any issue if there are hawks in the area? There's no issue. There's no issue? They don't They don't bother each other? Well, they could, but they don't. They don't. Wow. Okay, who's this over here? Since James Bond's getting all the attention. I call her Toes. Toes? Are you are you cool? You look pretty chill too. And then who's back there in timeout? Sully's in the back there. Sully's in the back. Well, thank you so much for the explanation. I think that's amazing. Is 
this is only one of three buildings. And the very first building's probably two or three times the size of this one. Decent sized event. Nice that it's all inside. Wowza. That was a lot. It's like, I mean, it's a pretty big size show. It's not maybe as big as the World Ag Expo, but it's big. I, I was able to get through it all in one day, but I stayed like really focused. I was gonna go, you know, down every row. And then I got really confused in one building. <laughs> and then I, there was, well, I thought there was four buildings, but there's actually three just one building had two different entrances and then you go downstairs and like the bottom floor oh it just it got a little confusing but i got to see so much cool stuff um it's like probably 70 percent wine stuff so you know i look at it but i don't really have that much interest in that stuff but i got to see a lot of cool viticulture stuff i ran into some people that i knew i was gonna see ran into a couple people that like i had no idea i was gonna see i saw someone from high school um that i was friends with that like i didn't even know worked in the industry so that was cool i'm definitely exhausted though i think i'm gonna go get a milkshake and drive home okay i hope you guys didn't cheat i hope you put your guesses for what that piece of equipment was it is a grape harvester that's right it actually drives over the top of the grapes and it runs for roughly four hundred thousand dollars i don't know if i'll be getting one anytime soon <laughs> anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did remember to hit that thumbs up button and that subscribe button it allows me to keep making these videos and i hope you guys have a great day